Good morning, middle school artists from Woodmore. Um, today is Monday the 30th, and I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Um, used it to, we we here used it to kind of play catch up, so if we were behind on anything, we um, went ahead and finished all of that up. But today, I wanted to talk to you guys about trees just a little bit. So I love this, oops, I'm sorry, you can't see the one behind it, sorry guys. Um, I really like this quote and it says, be like a tree, stay grounded, connect to your roots, turn over a new leaf and bend before you break. Enjoy your unique natural beauty and always keep growing. So as you guys are at home sort of doing your own schoolwork, I'm sure that it's, it's, it's tricky to kind of learn and grow on your own, but most of you guys are doing a really nice job and Thank you for those of you asking questions and following up on your work, checking progress books, Schoology. You guys are awesome. And then um, I love this quote too, because it says, if speaking kindly to plants helps them grow, imagine what speaking kindly to humans can do. I just thought that was like a really nice one, guys. I'll zoom in on it a little. Sorry, I printed those. I didn't really know how to um, change the screen so that you could... Um, maybe do something else or like make it pop up in the video. Not that tech savvy yet. Sorry guys. But um, I'm sitting here because I feel like you can kind of get a decent view of some like trees and greenery um, that are out. Sorry, I almost fell over. Um, but basically I'm, I'm going to look at the art before breakfast book again today. And it's by Danny Gregory. It's kind of a workbook. It's a little bit more for like older students or adults. Um, it's like an art journal, which I thought was really cool, but it just has great ideas in it. So um, on this page today, it says branch out, pick a tree, any tree, study how it is put together. What's the overall shape? Do certain branches break that shape? How far up do the branches start? How many main branches are there? Study the negative space between the leaves. Are there patches missing from the bark? Can you see the roots? Decide if you want to draw individual leaves or clumps and bunches. Most of you, if you've taken art one, you've drawn a tree before. So this would be kind of fun if you just want to do an extra sketch. Remember the things on these videos are just for us to stay connected, stay drawing. Some of you really love to do extra drawing practice and sketches at home. So they just have like, they don't really have much here to kind of look at, but they do have a tiny little tree there. But if you guys want to, remember I taught you guys how to make like a letter Y and then add other letter Ys coming off of the top part. And um, the bottom of the tree is always more narrow than the top, except for the very bottom of the trunk. Um, but then it says like on this page, draw one leaf in detail. How does it compare with the overall tree? Make some notes. So um, like outside, I can definitely see some of the trees we have. Uh, a few of them need cut down because um, they don't look like they're gonna bloom this year. But I know most of you have trees somewhere outside that you can see. So if you wanna do a little extra drawing practice today, that would be something really fun for you guys to do. And remember, um, the reason that I kind of talked about this today is just so that we're all speaking really kindly to each other. I know a lot of you guys are getting online, messaging, video chatting with your friends if, you're not, if your parents aren't letting you go out, which is awesome because we all need to stay quarantined. Um, the, fa the more we stay quarantined, the faster I'm hoping we'll get through this. But um, if you are online with others, just hopefully you all are making sure that you're being really kind and supportive to each other. If you have nothing nice to say, maybe just zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket, just like we did in elementary school. Um, or, or maybe approach it in a way where you're just asking the person more questions about why, why they feel that way. I know sometimes we talk about this in the art room because we have a little bit more freedom of speech in there. Um, and we debate about stuff, but I'm just hoping you guys are being super kind to each other online and supporting each other and contacting, contacting each other as much as possible, you know, so we're branching out, but we're also helping each other grow. Um, check Schoology in Progress book for quarter four that, um, some of the things from quarter three were pushed over to 
quarter four. So those are all, those all should be listed in progress book. I tried to make sure each class had what was due. Um, there was just one class that was still working on their final Google design. So if you guys want to send me images, if you send me pictures of your work, I'll go ahead and just put the grade in. If you want to just wait till we come up with like a turn in process, you can do that too. I'm not going to mark anything missing or late. I never do. Um, I usually don't even upload the projects because I don't want you guys freaking out that things are due. But the more you send to me, um, the better it, it might be for you if you're really someone who's like keeping track of everything. But um, let, me get, let me know if you guys have any questions and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.